Hello YouTube! Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Z James, this is Z32 Workshop, and this is my 1993 Nissan 300ZX convertible parts car. Sorry, it's early in the morning. Uh, it's just me and the crickets because one of them started chirping again. It's been raining here for the last three days, so uh, it's uh, quite chilly if you can't tell. Uh, surprisingly so. So, uh, last episode, which was, or actually last two episodes, was me uh, actually getting this into its uh, final position here to actually start working on the rear end, which I did. So this episode, we're going to take apart the rear bumper, which I will show you now. Um, so hopefully this helps people out later on when they got to do any type of rear bumper work. So let me take you on a tour of that. Let's go over here. Uh, I had already previously, um, some of the things you're gonna need to take off, side marker lights on either side. Uh, that is just a screwdriver. Either side does that. Then on the inside of the trunk, um, you're gonna need to take off every one of these bolts. So there's one, two, three, four, five, oh, get around here, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I think there's eleven of them. If I look at that right, yep. Yeah. Five on either side, one in the middle, and then now there's two, two bolts and two, three, four. It's four more bolts, and then down here there are two screws, and if I'm not mistaken, on each both sides. There is one here, there's one right there, and there is one right there. Uh, those should all be, I'm going to say 10 millimeter be my guess for this. Um, so it should be somewhat easy to get to and do. Hang on here, everybody. Let me set you back up. Sorry about that. Um, uh, that's what that should be. Um, I've already removed a bunch of those because I was, uh, for whatever reason, um, uh, I thought that was part of the tail light. I don't know why I did that. I guess I wasn't paying attention, but then again, I didn't have the car pulled against the wall. Oh, excuse me. That, that's a lot of screws holding the bumper on. Um, compared to like my BMW X5, which, and I kid you not, two giant bolts and two little screws. So six. That there has 11 plus four, so you're 15. You have 17, you know, that's 15 plus two more. Yeah, you are uh, 17 bolts plus two more screws, so you're like 19 bolts hold on. Seems a bit overkillish to me, in my opinion. But hey, that's what they decided to do, it's what they did. So we're gonna take that apart now. I will probably hyperlapse you guys, um, buzzing around, but I showed you where all those are located at and uh, what you need to do to take them off. So let's get to it. I'll try to make this a nice, uh, sweet, informative video for you guys. So here we go.
All right. Um, I forgot one extra screw on either side of this corner. I noticed it was down there. Uh, this should be free and loose now. So we're going to give it a try. Uh, like I said, there's the 11 nuts that hold it in the back. Two screws here, two bolts on the inside, one screw here, one bolt here. As you can see, this whole side is pretty darn loose. I'm hoping this can come loose now. We'll see. I'm not sure if I'm missing something yet or not. I don't think so. But let's give it a whirl here. I'm like missing something. The other side. Oh, there we go. There's... Few more screws. I'll show you're at. We'll put them on. Go down underneath. <coughs> on the back side. Oh yeah, two plastics. Plastic, 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 plastic. I'm gonna move back here. Let me see if I could point it out to you. Plastic, 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 plastic. Didn't even notice it because I didn't check. Loop, move it out of the way. This will be real easy. We'll do this real time. Because you know what? I ain't going to turn you back to hyperlapse for something so small. So we just have this here. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. I'm not for sure. When I got light, doesn't mean necessarily you're seeing it. Ooh, a big plastic sucker. One down. Oh, there's a reason why I couldn't get this come off. I couldn't get, couldn't see it. Let's see if I can get. Uh, I'm gonna need a different screwdriver. Back, everybody. Sorry about that. I do apologize. Let's see if I can get my shorty. I will say this. This is an, an amazing amount of. Screws and bolts that hold this thing on. Oh, come on. Well, that one's being a pain. on hyperlapse for a second hang on everybody all right i gotta apologize gopro messed up you didn't see what i needed to do at the end there um and you didn't see me take the bumper off bumpers off uh that's my bad guys uh what i ended up having to do is just pull it off the fight that i had that you didn't see on camera because i had the gopro set up wrong was this uh you're gonna get this wiring either stays in or out take your pick 
I pulled it out with the bumper through there, that hole. Um, as you can see, uh, this has an absorbent amount of number of screws and bolts that hold this thing. And uh, these plastic ones, these two inner ones that you didn't see off camera, because uh, the can't GoPro messed up, was, let me, let me show you here. I want to just give you guys an idea. Um, you know, they were supposed to come out like this. They didn't. I ended up having to break them like this. Um, I couldn't rotate them. They just wouldn't spin. So I had to get in there and get there with a the screwdriver, pop them up a little bit, use my curve one underneath it, and just pry them out. Um, they're just plastic clips. You can go get them out of AutoZone, Advanced Auto, O'Reilly's. Any automotive store should really sell those interior. Like They're like an, almost an interior trim piece, but they're not. Um, so... Let me count, let's, let's count the bolts of how many ways this thing's connected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, plus the wiring. Twenty-four bolts, everybody. Holy cow. That's a lot. And I'm not joking when I said, you know, my X5, my BMW, two bolts, two big bolts, four little screws. It whole thing comes off fantastically easy. You know, as much as they say about German engineering compared to Japanese stuff, wow, that's a heck of a lot simpler and easier to put back on. Because I can imagine trying to line all that back up, specifically the bolts that go through, are a huge pain in the butt. Absolutely huge. Um, like I said, I, I am sorry that the GoPro messed up and you get to see me actually yank it off the car. Um, you got to see me fight it. That's what it boils down to. So, like I said, I hope this video find, I hope people find this informative and helpful when they take their rear bumper off. Uh, just to show where everything's at. Rear bumper removals are something guys do all the time for putting new bumpers on, auto racks, you name it. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully you guys help, this helps you. Because all my struggles and tribulations on this should make it easier so you guys learn from my mistakes. Uh, and I really didn't break anything. That's one thing I'll say. Other than the bolt itself, or those plastic clips, that's it. Everything else is the way it is. So, um, yeah. Let's end this video for where it's at. Uh, tomorrow, I'm probably going to take off the core support on, the, on there and uh, the rear tow hooks. That's tomorrow's video coming up. Uh, should be somewhat easy. I'm just trying to get things out of the car. Oh, see, I'm seeing stuff I just know I gotta do later on. So, all right, let's end this up. I am Z James, this is Z32 Workshop, and I hope you guys are working in your garage every morning like I am to make their projects move forward. And I'll see you tomorrow morning or in the comments. Take care. Oh, yeah, please like and subscribe. Every little bit helps counts. Bye.